<laughs> trying to make, not make a two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Chip's continuing with the Byleth character choice uh, for Tay. As we saw, uh, the Byleth actually proved successful against uh, AA Battery, who uh, had made it all the way to winner's finals against Luchit that we just saw. You know, I always love to see Byleth that's not Hempel. Like, because I like to see how this character actually performs. Because, you know, like, one thing is, like, you see you see Hempel, and you're like, okay, yeah, it's Hempel. But I never really keep Byleth, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's fair. That's fair to say. Like, uh, what does this character look like in the, just the natural state of competitive scene? Yeah, you know, what, what it, like, this is, you know, you're, you're at a turn, right? You're relatively far around. What kind of Byleth player really good? Ooh. Right now it's looking like it's really fun. <laughs> yeah, Crazy. absolutely. I think what I'm starting to learn a little bit here between, with Frog Taco especially is that the dude seems to just have a, a ton of matchup knowledge. You know, stage has it going on yeah, the table. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow, that's still scooped up a while. Okay, gets a side special out of it too. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. You definitely get punished for that. Crazy shield damage, but not enough. It's one of those things where it's, it's so powerful, it's so scary, but in reality, it's not really gonna do much unless they do drop their shield. Oh no! Yeah. yeah. Tether just the wrong direction, unfortunately. It has 67% on Frog Taco, though, which is honestly pretty much kill percent, so um, really just one hard read and could even things out pretty quickly. What we're not seeing too much from Chips, though, is conversions out of the neutral air. I feel like I'm not seeing much space in front of it. I feel like Chips is yeah. approaching more often than I'm not really sitting there with a the foyer in the back there trying to create more space. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. back here not gonna get connected out of that neutral air. Oh, <laughs> missing, but that maybe <laughs> trying to... Probably not too big of a punish. Yeah. I was probably going for like the, the arrow canceling into that air dodge or, or jump, but... Anything that wasn't okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Heather recovered yeah. the jump pop right there. Once again... Daisy extending her arm from behind her back takes this time. Happens more than you think. Daisy's a lot of really good cross up things. You can see Daisy actually able to back their shields and manage to cross up the character. I really fucking want characters have actions too, but. Ooh, turn up combos. Doesn't get anything big off of it, but with pretty clean two piece. Oh, good tech though. Okay, and we're getting one stock off for Chefs here. You know, it's, it's, it's chip. It's chip. I mean, when you're about to die anyway, and you're pretty stocked up, you might Yeah, well. absolutely. Yeah, catching chips, shielding that time around. Passed the DI into, was expecting a back throw, and... Has advantage out of the corner, though. I mean, this is not looking too bad. I think, really, chips just needs to continue just, like, to, like, warm up the pilot. I don't think... Yeah. It, it doesn't seem like the spacing's confident right now, but... Uh, has solid reads on the opponent. Oh, grab a waste of fire. Oh, yeah. yeah, it looks so here. funny, yeah. <laughs> the real question is, what can the characters? Have you been a player's face yet, sir? Uh, I think this is the first time playing each other. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, what we've seen from tips in the past two is that uh, the best fight definitely work in their favor because they learn their opponent. So really, the first and second game actually look pretty tough sometimes when it comes to tips gameplay. But once they learn their opponent, things look a lot different real quick. I mean, that's definitely what we can see right here. Yeah. Yes. Not looking too good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, with, I mean, just having seen chips play a lot right, over the course of Wake Takes, it feels like the first game is kind of a throwaway. And then from there, looks for bad habits and punishes those productive things. Uh, right now it seems like they need to dial in their neutral more than anything else with some safe spacing like you were mentioning earlier. Yeah. Uh, but Rock Taco definitely coming out strong. Chips are not changing the character so those players that once they have their uh their decision, their character, they're locking it. Mm -hmm. Alright, final destination though on Chips' counter pick. I mean, I can definitely see what you're talking about with the whole patience thing. I mean, right off the game, too. Tip tips and crouch. <laughs> no, no approach, just I'm gonna I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, really good chasing from Clark, Clark Taco so far. Clark, Clark Taco's decision making is just like so quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, knows that with the aerial pressure that Daisy puts out, the opponent's gonna shield pretty quickly, and so. Mixing up, hey, aerial, aerial, grab. <laughs> like, <laughs> or aerial, grab, aerial. Like, it's like, kind of just a recipe for, for mix-ups. Daisy just works very well. 
when you just have that uh, efficiency on putting out hitboxes to pressure your opponent. I find a lot of time, like, if you don't have a lot of experience getting like, a and Daisy, Beat and Daisy have that really weird air movement that no other character moves like. A lot of times, if you find yourself throwing out moves and just kind of hoping they're going to end up in this area, I think mm -hmm. Rock Ock's doing a really good job of mixing up his air movement, so I don't want to really catch it on to what those characters are actually capable of doing. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And, oh, but that up smash not going to connect either. But just like that, immediately grabbing out of the back air cross up on shield, like so fast with it. Oh yeah. And once again, up being the wrong way. I think might have given up a little bit early if they yeah, had pushed up the other way. Actually, not so bad, but at least would have been worth it. I mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can just reverse it. It's fine. Uh, but a quick, yeah, quick zero seventy four. What the heck? Yeah, Frog has those combos dialed in. Okay, and yeah, yeah. And at that percent, that actually is a 50 50. Let's just hope it's not the top of your body. Let's hope it's the top to actually manage to get yeah. that mental game up. Usually, No! Between options, it seems like. Oh, okay. Oh, Gonna get through the turnip with that, too. And slowly bringing this back, really. If they can continue to run advantage state, grab it by Dizzy at this point. It's whatever. One of the things that's funny about these characters, I mean, a lot of them just like kind of grab, they just kind of toss each other on stage and kind of hold them to the end guard. Yeah. I mean, Violet's technically a gamble, Violet's a really good recovery, I feel like he's not, you know, like, talking about the nub, but that tether is just like, going so far. They, they, they just not have a lot of burrows work. Like, you managed to hit a, like, a low-hitting hitbox on her. Kind of horizontal. Yeah. It's pretty good spot. Absolutely. It just seems like we haven't been seeing much. <laughs> um, much offstage pressure from either character, or like successful uh, pressure at least. It's been more of like these bigger combos or with hits in center stage. And oh, not gonna get the big combo starter that Frog Coco wanted there with the neutral air strings. And not a forward air offstage, not gonna get to either. Doesn't get the tech on that stage spike, but man, I think Frog Coco are really running away with some momentum here. Rock Rock is definitely is controlling the pace of what's upset and feels like. Yeah. I mean, just getting his straight hit, he's hitting Rock Taco, but nothing really feels like he's converting, never really feels like he's holding a long advantage state compared to Rock Taco. Yeah. I mean, not that Rock Taco's advantage state, but it's long, it feels like Rock Taco's advantage state is getting 80% out of them, but since it's getting the man with 30. Exactly. Here, just so much more out of their openings. And Porter, not going to take it just yet. But up air, yeah, really big face there from Frog Taco. I mean, you can definitely go for stuff like that when you have a stock up. Yeah, I mean, Chips, I think, uses air dot. I have that orange jump all the way up in that corner and just I mean, start to use those options out there. It becomes so much easier to jump out and guard you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, with a high recovery, you might as well try to cover uh, with a hitbox and force your opponent to maybe air dodge through so you can chase that. Uh, but a really a strong 2 0 lead for Frog Taco right now. Yeah, it sounds like we're doing Pyramithra for ships here, uh, which will be our second Pyramithra in bracket as Luz is waiting on winner uh, again in, in grand finals right now. Lots of sorties today. Yep. Lots of sorties. I don't mind it. I, I, sorties are extremely good. It, it's usually it just comes down to their their uh, recoveries that it kind of is a limiting factor, but. I kind of understand why people didn't want more sword characters in the game, but I, I kind of like them, you yeah? know? They're good. It's, it's a definite play style you need to learn how to play against. Yeah, he uses my ult. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I don't often see the, the gold and, uh, and bronze, but it's clean. Uh, I personally like the like the Optimus Prime colors. <laughs> um, Those are funny, but... Yeah. I just feel like it's so basic. I just feel like they look like normal people. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, yeah, I like that. fair enough. All right, but let's shop opportunity here. Chip's already kind of showing that they have a solid advantage state with Mithra. I mean, which of course isn't like insanely hard, but at the same time, I mean, being able I to mean, continue, consistently open up Frog Tucker like he, he is right now. Yeah, it's just, it's looking more solid than the pilot probably. Right yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah, kind of wondering if we would see the pilot come up again and see if he's one of the players that what they have in their head that they can win with pilot and they can stick to it, but... When you have a best of five, I mean, this is what you have the game for. Yeah, exactly. Do whatever you can to win if that's what can switch. Yeah, I, 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 let's say, like, in your head, you're like, okay, I lost the best of three, but we get to play best of three again. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to win the next three, you know? yeah, Exactly, exactly. 
Now it looks like Chips wanted the full hit of the uh, uh, Providence Revolt there, but just didn't get it. Ended up snapping the ledge instead. Oh, okay. And Fartek holding down on the, the hitbox. Maybe to sneak out a, a whip hit, but good patience there with shielding uh, through for Chips. But you know, the difference between Chips and Luke, the hardest thing already is Chips just let this up go with Mithra so much more. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, goes for it once again. Lou's just, or I mean, Frog Taco's gonna get through it with it. Oh, but catching the turnip. Gosh, okay, so Chips had such a big advantage in this first stock, but just not able to seal out the stock. Okay, shoots outward. No! Yeah, strong hit neutral at that percent. Will do it. I was so embarrassed when I really feel like that. Someone coming off an angel like, platform and immediately, going back here. Yeah, with an aerial, you're like, bruh. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of damage so often. That's a huge air dodge. Yeah. And this matchup looking really good in Power Mythos' favor. Okay, bad position though. Okay, good job to run the ledge. I mean, when you're able to match Daisy, you know, aerial with a board as fast, it starts to become a lot easier. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. Uh, high recovery, four chips there though. I mean, this is where Frog Talker gets a chance as soon as you go to Pyra. My character will also like it. Yep. And contesting the startup of the down air. I mean, that's the thing. Pyra's moves are slow, so you can catch her um, uh, just like starting up her move if you're willing to just chase her first, knowing that, hey, I think you're gonna throw out a hitbox, but. Again. I'm really oh. curious what happens. Oh, wanted that so bad. So frustrated by it, it seems. But that time around, it will connect, and hopefully, isn't going to get hit by an angel drop. Head. <laughs> it's definitely uh, a little more mentally into this stuff. Kind of confused about some of the things that's happening. He's on fourth throw into oh shit. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, what did what happened? <laughs> We're like, what was the mistake? It's supposed to be a throw. <laughs> yeah. But you just have to keep that mental game. Again, trying to hold on to the longevity of this stock. Back air is going to take it off the side and. Last stock situation. Tips has looked really good in the first two stocks, but it's just not able to uh, survive long enough to get more of an advantage state with a stock lead. This is one of those games that's so back and forth. You just gotta hope you're able to do it again and get that stock burned. Because this is the part where it matters. Exactly. This last stock. <laughs> oh, the right there, you know. Yeah. Going through the jab. Oh, and Chips is sent so deep off stage. Recovery so high with up special and sneaks through. Very good recovery mix up right there. Okay, we can tell Chips has feels like all the pressure is on right now. Oh, the back are gonna connect. Down here. Goes for a deep order. <laughs> yeah. Just goes for it all. But shield grab into back here. That's a bad spot for Pyra. Air dodge is in, and Frog Taco's gonna seal it with a 3-0. Really good offstage pressure there. Man. You know, I like Pyra in The fact that back can get mixed up with down air. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> the, bruh, they look exactly the same. <laughs> I like these characters, but... Like, oh my god. Hey, now. Okay, good to see you. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Never. Move on to double A versus Frog Taco. Yeah, it's like, oh, continuing on in loser side. We have losers finals now. I wonder if we ever coach the player, what we call him, like, triple-A memory? <laughs> <laughs> keep, is it, that, keep it going. Is know? that an upgrade or a downgrade? <laughs>